Living the high life. Customized supercars, complete with a personalized number plate that spells out thief in Russian. Lavish parties and expensive gifts, all captured on camera and used as evidence by US and UK prosecutors against Russian hackers. On Thursday, a US indictment accused Igor Tarashev and Maxim Yakubets of running a global hacking group called Evil Corp from their basements. We're here today to identify and announce charges against a Russian national whom the Department of Justice alleges is responsible for two of the worst computer hacking and bank fraud schemes of the past decade. Yakubets is a true 21st century criminal who, with the stroke of a key and the click of a mouse, committed cyber crimes across the globe. He's earned his place on the FBI's list of the world's most wanted cyber criminals. Yakubets is accused of working for Russian intelligence. Both men allegedly use malware known as Drydex to steal at least $100 million from the likes of schools and religious organizations across 40 countries. The malware was spread through so-called phishing campaigns, encouraging victims to click on malicious links sent by email. Once a computer was infected, the group stole personal banking information, which was used to transfer funds. The fundamental weakness that organised crime has is that they are driven by money and they are driven by greed. And we have been able to gain evidence in the UK of a real-world footprint of people seeking to draw down the funds from these offences and also people who are exhibiting a very extravagant lifestyle online. Turashev and Yakubets remain at large. A $5 million bounty has been offered for information leading to Yakubets' arrest and prosecution, the largest reward ever offered for a cyber criminal. Sara Khairat, Al Jazeera. So USV is the chief executive of Global Cyber Risk. My colleague Hasim Sika spoke with her earlier and asked her how safe any of our online transactions really are. Well, it's very significant. It's a, a major bust of a very large cyber criminal ring. But what the FBI wasn't really focusing on in their announcements was it took them eight years to do this investigation. They began it in 2011. So it is wonderful that they have finally brought this ring into indictments. It's doubtful they will ever bring these two Russians to trial because they remain in Russia. And it highlights the difficulty of how hard it is to track and trace and conduct cybercrime investigations. Is this kind of thing sort of a drop in the ocean? Uh, is, is there more to it th uh, out there, do you believe? A cybercrime costs businesses about $5 trillion a year, I believe, is the last number I read. It, so the bad guys are winning, and it is um, a step in the right direction. But when you consider all the cyber crimes that happened between those intervening eight years, you can see that we're way behind. So it is a problem that we have to address in our legal frameworks, in international cooperation, and just in how we can uh, pursue these cyber criminals. It also highlights, I should point out, that there, there are extreme risks in online banking. Online banking is not completely secure. So one thing people can do is to companies and individuals both is to restrict their use of online banking and be very careful about what they are doing with it and be very careful with their online credentials for logging in.